Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, this here is the second installment of Nerf Mods and Reviews Weekly. And uh, I made the promise that this one was going to be much shorter than the first one. And uh, I even got my stopwatch here to keep me on track so I don't ramble too long. But uh, I'm titling this one Whiteout because the Whiteout series has released. It is in stores now. Um, they're only at Walmart. It's Walmart exclusive. Um, my store had a display set up with all the guns in it. And uh, for the most part, they were pretty reasonably priced. Uh, Maverick was 10, Nightfinder 8 something. The deploy was 20. And the long strike was 25, which I was surprised about. But uh, this Maverick is awesome. Um, uh, it's, I'm getting like 60 feet per second dart speed out of this thing. It's crazy. I don't know what they did to it, but it's very impressive. Um, there's the deploy, which is just a standard deploy repaint nothing special. I'm not really a fan of deploys, but that is one of the better looking ones. Um, of course, there's the long strike. Um, love this gun. This is great. Um, can't wait for the Orange Modworks kit to come out for the long strikes. Put that in here and see what else I can do to it. Kind of improve it, make it a little better. I haven't done anything to this yet because I just bought it and um, well I made the stock removable because that's a must. Got to be able to get the stock off. Um, that's it so far. Hopefully I will have more mods coming soon for it. Um, what else? And last, the Night Finder. Which isn't listed on the website or the commercial that they have for it on the Walmart website. The little commercial doesn't have the Night Finder in it, but they are in stores along with the Dart Packs. Um, I'm not sure why the guns didn't come with the darts. The whiteout darts, that would have made sense to me, but for what, for whatever reason, they don't. They're separate. These were like $4 and something, $4 and change. Um, they're just white darts, orange tips. You got uh, Streamlines and Sonic darts. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And like the guns, they're only at Walmart. So be able to go out and find those now. Um, speaking of night finders, I had a cool find at a Goodwill, and that was these two dart tag fire strikes. They were a dollar each, and uh, it was the first time I've ever seen these because I'd never seen them before, besides pictures on the internet and uh, I actually plan to do a comparison so y'all got you guys can look for that coming up in a week or so um, I want to compare all the night finders that have been released from beginning to end see if they got better or worse what have you um, I'm really glad now that I got the white out one and I actually found the original Night Finder on eBay. Um, so I'm waiting for that to arrive. And when I get that, I'll get the comparison going. Um, what else? I believe that's it for that. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Um, this week I received the X-Shot Turbo Fire. Which is a it's a pretty cool gun. Um, 
gets okay ranges. Uh, these are now listed on the Toys R Us website for thirty dollars. I don't think I'd want to pay thirty dollars for it because it's really poorly made. Um, there's spaces on it where the plastic doesn't meet up right. Uh, there are gaps and it's real flimsy. But it is a cool. It's a cool gun. I mean, it gets about, I guess, close to 30 feet stock ranges. Um, I haven't really seen what mods can be done to it yet. Um, I'll probably get into that a little later. But uh, I guess if you're really interested, they should be available soon in stores and you can check them out but I don't think I'd pay thirty dollars for it uh, what else I got um, oh the photon storm and this is a flywheel a blaster like the nerf barricade Um, it runs off five AA batteries. Um, I've got the review up on YouTube uh, if you all have checked that out yet. Um, very noisy, of course. Um, this has to be one of the coolest looking shells I've ever seen for a, a dart gun. I mean, it just looks really cool. Ranges are okay. It's slightly better than a Nerf barricade, but the darts spin and flip out of it sometimes. It's not very consistent, but uh, Nerf streamlines do work in it. And uh, it actually comes with a pack of fake streamlines that are got glue all over them and the tips are crooked and they're crap. Um, it's got suction darts too that look like streamlines. But uh, this is a really cool gun. Um, I've actually got two of them because that's what came to me. And uh, I actually may sell the other one just to recoup some of the cost because it was not cheap getting these to the US. Um, one thing I did want to note about this, though, is the let's see if I get that on the camera. The fake stampede. It looks exactly like a Nerf stampede, but I'm pretty sure it's also probably flywheel powered because that's what all the guns listed on the back are. Um, that should be pretty interesting if anybody ever finds or gets a hold of that I'd be interested in seeing that one uh... let's see what else I got here um... there are some more uh... busby guns being released uh... I know the busby hawk is showing up in stores um... it's green it looks just like the arizona hawk same gun just different colors uh, there's the Busby Maniac, which is a, uh, looks like the Berserker. It, I guess Busby has a new line of connecting guns. There's the Maniac, the Surge 6, the Surge 10, and the Turbo 12. The Turbo 12 looks like a repaint of the Rapid Fire. That was part of the Ultimate System. Um, I'll try to get pictures up at the end of the video for those guns. Uh, what else I got? Oh, I just found this at Walmart. This is the uh, Optimus Prime Cyber Blaster. Pretty interesting. Um, it was $30 at Walmart. Um, I should have the review up shortly, either 
before this video goes up or after. Um, I haven't really tested it or checked it out yet, but uh, I'll tell you what, if it doesn't perform well, it's going back to the store because it's $30. I don't know. Um, of course, it's got, let's turn it on. It's got three different modes on, off, and demo. Does all kinds of talking stuff. The primer is on the top. Ready. Yeah, probably be leaving that off for the most part. But uh, it's different. It's a ten shot blaster. Um, I seriously doubt this will be worth thirty dollars. But uh, we'll see. Um, I haven't opened it up or anything. It's really big. Probably could integrate quite a few things in here. <laughs> but uh, I'll get deeper into this later and uh, probably talk about it some more in the next video once I actually get to check it out more. Um, what else I got? Uh, I still haven't found any more of the Vortex Blasters, but I did find more of the pre-order cards at Toys R Us. <laughs> pre-order and get a $5 gift card. Um, like I said, Toys R Us overprices everything, so that's whatever. But they do have that available. Um, Orange Mod Works their uh, performance kits, of course, uh, Stage 2 Recon should be coming soon, along with the Raider and Long Strike. Uh, I have those on the way to me to review, so as soon as I get them, you guys will know and you'll see it. Um, I'll have a link to Orange Mod Works in the description. Uh, what else did I have to cover? Um, I think that's about it, except I did want to uh, probably talk about this more in the next video, but I'm going to try to do some kind of giveaway on here for uh, the viewers. It'll basically be like you uh, leave a comment, and that enters you, and I'll just randomly pick somebody, and you'll get this box which I'm going to fill with some different things. Uh, right now i got a Nerf Super Silver Flip, uh, Secret Strike, uh, Nerf Mods and Reviews pen. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's just a cool little pen. Um, let's see what else I can throw in there for you guys and say I'll pick a random winner and send it to them. Um, I'm going to try to get back into modding. Uh, haven't been doing any mods in a while. Uh, I guess I just haven't had any ideas. So I'm going to try to think up some things and uh, hopefully get back into that. I uh, guess you could say I had like modder's block. Kind of like writer's block. Um, I actually did just make this out of a Max Force Blowgun. It's, uh, I should have the video up for this it's now or in a day or two. It's just a coupler blow gun, so it can attach to any coupler Nerf gun and shoot the little paper spit wads out. It's kind of cool. But, uh, I think that's it for this week. I've talked long enough, because like I said, I wanted to keep this short. And uh, I'm still on the hunt for some Vortex guns and the Gear Up Barricade. Still haven't found that for some reason. But uh, I will hopefully see you guys again next week. Remember, let me know what you think of the videos, if I should make more or stop. If you have a question you want me to answer in the video, send me a message on YouTube. Uh, 
put somewhere in the message that you want your question answered on the video and I'll make sure to get that up for y'all um, oh yeah Transformers gun has blue darts Forgot about that. Um, but yeah that's it for this week and I will catch you guys next week uh, pictures of the Busby guns at the end thanks for watching <laughs>